Hello guys, welcome back to Matt for French Cars. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be replacing this driver side wing mirror on this Peugeot 407 SW. Same procedure would be for sedan version of this car as well. The reason I want to replace it is because it's all my loose and broken off. As you can see here, it took some damage. What happened here? I think you got dinked by another car a few times and then I think you, I finished it once I took it to a car wash the car wash just bent it, braked it and that was it since these mirrors are quite cheap they're not that expensive I just got another mirror so now I'm gonna just show you how to replace this whole thing here and then my mirror replacement mirror which I got doesn't have a cover so I'll show you how to take a cover nicely from your old mirror and just to put on a new one right so let's crack on so first thing that you're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to remove this door panel here door card in order to be able to access a 13 millimeter bolt for the mirror and also in order to access the connect electric connector because these mirrors are electric they fold and when you lock the car and stuff so they have a connection going into electric window motor and I'm going to show you all that just in a second now, but let's crack on and undo the door card first. Right, my guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to undo these two screws. It's a Torx screws, T you have to use a Torx T20 tool um, and then just literally undo these anti-clockwise. So one torque screw is out like this and then the second one is a bit higher up is just here okay so that's your second torque screw is out whoop dropped it Never mind, got it. So two Torx screws like this, which really keen on disappearing. So just make sure you put them in some safe place first. And what we're gonna have to do next, if you can see here, where is all the window controls, there is a little, little thing here. So I just put a little, door card remover here and what I'm doing here I'm just removing this little plastic here which clips in into these holes here and as you can see underneath it there is a bolt right so once we took our little rubber cover from here what we see here now is a T27 Torx bolt so we're gonna have to use T27 Torx key and just literally undo this bolt, same anti-clockwise. Just keep the bolt safe, we're not gonna need it now. Alright, so once this bolt has been removed, what you wanna do now, is you wanna um, do this bit here. So, if you do this bit here, the best way, is literally to use a flat screwdriver put it on this side push a little bit and then unclip this side and then try to unclip all the sides and then with your hands just do like this and then this bit here don't pull it it just pulls out like this because as you can see there is a little ping in the back the rest is all clips this little thing has been wrapped quite a bad way not professional wrap but anyway we're gonna leave this here for now what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be removing our door card or at least moving it to a side so what we're gonna need to do here is we're gonna need to just literally find a place somewhere around here and then prime it 
we go. Once we're primed like that, tiny bit, what we can do now is we can literally make sure it's all loose like this. What can we do then? We can we can take a door cart off like this. Preferably with two hands. One second. I hope you can see. Right, so door card, door card is like this now. What we need to do is just tiny bit lift it up like this. So that's our door card now. Separate it from the rest of the door. And ideally, you would want to disconnect these three things here, so you could just put your door card on the side. What I'm doing here, I'm just gonna put my door card, put some paper towel or something on the floor and just land my door card here just to stay there for a tiny bit so once we so once we moved our door card to the side what we see here is a, your electric window motor where you have also connections to electric mirror going out of from it so what you want to do here, ideally, you want to disconnect it. I would say first maybe this one, pull it out and then this one, stay up and when your mirror connector is in like this, you just want to disconnect that one as well. So what I want to do now is I want to use T27 Torx, Torx key to do a f undo the three screws here. one that's two and that is three third one is here the reason I want to take this one off is because I'm gonna need to take this one out this connector so when I do this like this I have to, I'm gonna find that fault. I'm taking my electric win window motor off. What I can do then, I can slightly prime it here. And then this connector, I just push inside there. And then we're gonna take size 13, two like this, like spark plug tool. And the bolt which you need to undo for the mirror is inside here. It's a size 13. So I'm going to put on that bolt now. So we're using this. This is the best tool to use by far. You just un undo it and tighten it, and then you just do it by hand. It's quite a long bolt. Okay, so the bolt is actually loose now. The nut is loose. Right, right so now once the bolt is undone, what you can do just literally pull out your mirror just like this I hope you can see it it's just like this the only thing it's gonna be slightly more difficult to pull out is these clips here through here because the space is not great so what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna use a little tool to flip it to the side a little bit to pull it through. Okay, so once one is through, you push it through, and here it's, your connector is out as well. So now that your whole mirror is out of its place of your door. Right, so to put a new mirror in, it's the same procedure. First, you put connector through. 
through the little hole then you put this little seal here through as well before to get rid of the cable make sure you push them through nicely so we just feed it in the door card and then what you want to do you want to make sure this little big bolt goes through the hole here nicely we're gonna tighten up in a minute so now once again back inside where the door card is it was what we need to do we put a connector for the mirror into the door inside the door so what we need to do is just to prime here in a few places just to prime up so that you could stick your hand in grab the connector and literally seal and just do the seal up and then put this whole thing back in place the way it was if you really that you know bothered you can put some seal around this one so that it goes back to the same kind of position and everything and seals it up it's mainly from the road noise right so we have our connector now back here what we're gonna need to do now we're gonna grab 13 millimeter nut and gonna do the main bolt up the one who holds the mirror right so we got our 13 millimeter nut you have this little tool here right what you want to do you want to put it in just like this okay and now holding the mirror from our side you're gonna literally land it nut nicely onto the little on the big bolt and we're gonna try to do it up and we doing the nut up we can see that a mirror gets pushed towards towards the door and that's what we want so we just make sure it's nice and tight okay and now our door mirror is secure in place next thing we're gonna do we're gonna take that electric motor back on and we're gonna place it back in the place okay and we're gonna do those t27 torx screws back up it's three screws i'm gonna do two of them first and then i'm gonna do the third one So just to keep it nicely in a place i'm gonna get one more and just do a third one as well okay so i got my third screw as well one goes here as well so it's literally gonna tighten them up nicely again Okay, so the window, electric window motor is back in. We can plug our electric mirror connector back in as well. As you can see, some people like to stick it behind that. That's fine. And then, then we're gonna have to plug the other connectors in. It's this one here, plugged nicely in. This one plugged in nicely as well. So now your electric mirror and your electric window motor has been installed again. Right, so now regarding your door card, door cards have a clips um, like this one. So if you go through all your clips, some of them might be broken. Uh, that's normal, that happens when door cards get removed. Some of them might be missing, so I always have some replacement clips. So I can just literally swap them over to reinstall my door cards properly. See that one is broken, so that's not good anymore. So just reinstall replacement door clip, door card clip. There's two on this side, two on this side as well, which needs to be 
reinstalled. I'm not sure if it was missing from last time I removed the door card or what. But now, once all your door card clips is installed, we can reinstall the door card back on. What you want to do really is you want to start from the top. You want to start from the top. Um, I'm going to show you something. See this flat hole here is for this flat little plastic here. So make sure you match them up. So as soon as we do the top first. Play about a bit for a bit and get it in the right place. Right, so finally went into the right place. And now, once your top is pressed in, landed onto where it's supposed to be, what you can do with this, you can just push it in and it clips in all of it. Just go around to every corner and as you can see it nicely clips in and that's the way it should be so it's all clipped in nicely now next thing you want to do you want to take your little cover for this place this end goes in first and then it just clips in towards the front of a car as you can see and that is all nicely back in place next thing is this t27 torx bolt as you remember here so you stick torx bolt back in its place you use a t27 tool You can use fingers for now and then tie it up with a T27 torque ski. Maybe the best way. My tools keep falling off my hands, so I'm holding camera with one hand. Yeah, so just nice. Like getting quite annoying I'm sorry right so I just tied the tie up this bolt and now I can put my little rubber cover here nicely presses this into our holes and it just stays there as you can see right so now we're gonna grab our two T20 Torx screws and just screw them in the back in the door cards. Right, so one T20 Torx screw is in, and we have a one more to go. It's just here a bit lower up. Okay, so this torque screw is in as well now. The only thing which is left now for us is to put a cover, mirror cover, from my old mirror onto my new mirror. Right guys, so I'm just going to try to show you how to take the cover off when you have your mirror Ooh, Okay, you have your mirror like this and it goes like this There is a hole here on the side. You see this mirror is totally broken So it's hard for me to show But if you press, press it on a hole You can actually separate the cover from the mirror and then just try to prime it on a different places 
and it should just come off like this we have a same this metal in the same position and then we're going to be starting from this side make sure you're so nicely in the place and then just literally try to clip it together most importantly this end has to be clipped in like this once that is done my mirror is ready to go it's not a best looking mirror because it needs a good wash and clean but it's not the one i had which was absolutely loose broken and this one is going to do a job just fine now we can test see if it works so start the car and we see the mirror is folding i'm gonna go on a make sure the mirror is moving and it does as I can see which is great it goes up and down it goes to the sides and it also folds as it should so that is a good result achieved I'm quite happy with that it's not a new car it's not a new mirror but it's much better than this broken ass mirror which was no use for me anymore and just really annoying every single day on the daily trips all right guys so if you find my video useful uh to replace your wing mirror and you like it please subscribe my channel i'm trying to hit more subscribers i took two weeks off i've been extremely busy i didn't have time to make any video but now i free up a little bit so i'm going to be making tons of more videos for you to watch thank you for watching